everyone welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be on this new wig i'm so excited it is a frontal lace human hairstyle mix lace front wig by um they changed their name it's called main concept now they used to be isis but yeah they had to change their name and this is a brown sugar wig so this is what it looks like this is the style that looks so pretty and this is the bsf02 so, and it says it is a 13 by 14 no 13 by 4 um coverage with silk base um and it is a basically ear to ear um frontal so i guess that's the good part about it i am so excited to finally got this because it was a new wig i saw it on their website so i was excited as you can see <laughs> sorry for all the noise as you can see my um like me just opening it this is exactly how it looks that lace looks very nice very pretty definitely has a lot of room to part it looks about maybe like 18 inches um maybe it doesn't say on here um how long it is no it doesn't say how long it just says that it has a natural looking scalp hand tied frontal lace free parting 13 by 4 coverage with silk base um updo and ponytail versatile soft and manageable um natural comfortable um it says undetectable hairline and friendly on edges so that is definitely something new from this company but they typically make really nice um wigs period i really really like their wigs if you guys have seen my channel you will see that i am a isis fan i absolutely love their wigs so anyways the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys what i will be doing to secure this lace down so oh that's funny i grabbed the wrong thing okay i'm back <laughs> so i grabbed my face wash instead of the got to be glue so yeah that was kind of dingy but anyways i'm going to be using the got to be glue and the black tube it is the ultra glue invisible um styling gel this one to me it holds really really nice so i like this one so i'm going to smooth back my edges and also as i'm smoothing back my edges i'm also leaving gel around that hairline so and as you can see i just uh, <clears throat> i put my hair in a ponytail just because i really did not feel like um doing my hair so my hair is back in a ponytail i didn't really feel like doing the whole braid down and i feel like i can only get away with that because i am rocking curly hair if i was rocking straight hair i would definitely have to braid my hair back because um it would show through so and it will probably show like all the lumps. So that is the reason for that. So I'm going to go ahead and. Sorry. I also took one of my checks out. Okay. Just so that that part could be flat. But anyways. So I have my gel down. Smoothed everything back. And also along with that, I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue. Um, this is a blast free spray. It says um, extreme, no, it says screaming hold for hair. So I'm gonna be using this. See if I can go through clear kind of on the camera, but I'm gonna use this. And now I'm going to go through and cut my lace. And what I like to do is just cut around the perimeter. Um, you leave at least one inch of spacing there. So that when you are gluing down or gelling down, however you're going to do it, it's a little bit of room for the baby hair and a little bit of room for the lace to stick on to your skin. So I'm going to do that. And actually with this one, it kind of gives you like, I don't know, I'm used to cutting laces. So it, for me, I feel like it has somewhat of a 
a line or an angle of kind of telling you where to cut at also and the lace on this is really really like it feels exactly like how if you've ever had a frontal it feels exactly how the um lace on the frontal feels before their um their lace wigs the the base of the silk i guess you could say it never felt this smooth it was still smooth but never like this this is like real smooth like i say if you've ever had a frontal this is i guess because they have the frontal in the front they made it exactly like that but it feels nice and also one thing that i noticed about this wig i guess it's supposed to be something like a um full lace wig so on the inside as you can see it's different you don't see any of the tracking and it's not open it kind of has like a um i don't even know what to call this it's like it's almost like um some wigs will try and put um to make it seem like it's like a full lace it'll have this type of material which is like a mesh material to um kind of give it that illusion so now i'm going to go ahead and place my wig on i'm not going to tighten it so much i don't want it really tight so from there just going to put the back strap right here go ahead and place that oh i need to put my ponytail up i'm gonna go ahead and braid my extra hair back here Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this lace. Like, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so, I braided it halfway, and I'm just going to take the rest and kind of tuck it under in a ponytail and smooth the rest of my hair back. Now we can go ahead and start putting our lace on. And I got my lace from Royal Beauty. And this wig cost $79.99. But in my opinion, it's going to be all worth it. At least I hope it'll be worth it. Because it looked like it was going to be a real nice wig. So hopefully it comes out like I want it to. And if you guys watch my channel or follow me on Instagram, you guys know I pretty much love this curl pattern right here. I do rock this curl pattern a lot. I have. And. Ouch. Now what you're going to notice that not all 13 by 4s will fit on you so the cool thing about this is it has the strap in the back if you need to make the wig tighter or looser so here is what it looks like on of course like i said this 13 by 4 lace doesn't fit everyone the same so the good thing is you have a piece in the back where you can definitely um you know smooth it push it back and tighten it so now I'm just making sure that gel that I had on the side of the got to be glue is um, down. And because it is a little loose, I'm going to have to go ahead and tighten this um, wig up. So I'm grabbing the straps from the back and I'm basically feeling my way through everything because I already had the lace on and I'm not about to take it back off. So. And this got to be glue will hold for it'll hold you for a good um a good three days a week it just depends how you are washing your face or how you are with your face is what i will say um there we go so it does depend on you and how you are how it will do um so this is the parting of the lace it looks very, very natural. You don't at all have to use a um, any concealer or anything with it. As you can see how I'm parting and it just looks very natural. So, that is really good. Now you see how the lace keeps coming up right up here in the front? What I'm going to do is use my Got To Be Glue hairspray. 
and I spray it the front and I'm gonna spray it along the edges up here in the front and then I'm just gonna lift it just a tiny bit because my real edges are showing so I lifted it up a little bit same thing with this side <clears throat> and from here I'm going to put a scarf on the front just so that I can make sure it holds down tightly and securely like I need it to be now it's crazy how with all my other videos I always have a clip nearby to clip my hair with this video I have no clips whatsoever nearby me whatsoever but I got a handy dandy ponytail so that will work also so we're gonna put the hair up and go ahead and put this scarf down in the front so that it could be tight once again like I said the lace moved a little bit okay so I'm gonna put this down and that will be it basically I'll just leave this on for like less than five minutes but for me I have to finish getting ready so for me this is like the last step and I will show you guys pictures of what it looks like go ahead and hit that subscribe button up there to the top to the left and stalk me on all of my social media and I will put all of my links below and I'll be sure to send you guys pictures but follow on snapchat and instagram because that's where you will see the different styles of this style wig happy valentine's day everyone bye